There's no such thing as questions, just hidden answers. Stay tuned to PH Murder Stories as we revisit the inconceivable crimes that exist. Some listeners may find the following content of PH Murder Stories highly disturbing due to its graphic nature. PH Murder Stories does not condone nor promote violence in all sorts. Listener's discretion is advised. During the latter parts of the parasite charges against Ruben Ecleo, the case became more complicated than before. In what was considered a twist of events, a 32-year-old man claimed it was not cult leader Ruben Ecleo Jr. who killed and dumped his wife Alona Bacolod, but claimed that Alona's brother did it. The surprise witness emerged. After nearly two years of keeping the secret to himself, a certain Cedric Divinadira had surrendered to the Criminal Investigation and Detection Group, or CIDG, in General Santos City and claimed that it was Alona's older brother, Ben Bacolod, who killed her and later threw the body in the ravine. Divinadira told the authorities that he couldn't bear the guilt anymore. He also told the police that he and Ben placed Alona's body inside a black garbage bag and dumped it near a beach in Barangay Coro, Dalaguete. However, in Cebu City, some prosecution lawyers aired speculations that Divinadira had been paid by the camp of the PBMA's Supreme Master who is accused of the killing of his wife. But Ecleo's defense lawyer, Orlando Salatandre, denied having a hand at the surprise appearance of Divina Dira and asked the authorities to take a closer look into the man's testimony. Divina Dira, who denied being a member of the PBMA, told Cebu reporters over the radio that Ben allegedly mauled and strangled Alana to death after she failed to give the exact amount of money her brother had demanded. Cedric Divinadira, a resident of Labangon, Cebu City, said he has been on the run since the day after Alona's death on January 5, 2002, but was bothered by his conscience. He also claimed that he knew Ben Bacolod after the latter approached him in a billiard hall in Cebu City and offered him a job. Divina Dira pointed out that he acted as Ben's runner, bringing individual bags to different places in Cebu City. However, he claimed he didn't know what was inside those bags he delivered. Divina Dira also said that he doesn't personally know Ecleo and denied allegations that he had been paid to reveal the information. Unfortunately for Ecleo, the presiding judge, Soliver Peras, said that Ecleo's alibis were weak and that Ecleo did not make any effort to look for his wife, nor did he report her missing when she failed to come home. In 2011, the court canceled the 1 million peso bail of then-Congressman Ruben Ecleo Jr. Another warrant for his arrest was issued by Judge Soliver Peras of the Regional Trial Court. It is the second arrest warrant for Ecleo, who has not been seen since the Sandigan Bayan issued a warrant for his arrest after being convicted in a graft case. The judge granted the arrest warrant as Ecleo had not been attending hearings. He was out on bail due to his health condition, which was described as a walking time bomb due to a heart ailment. Ecleo has already missed three straight hearings for the parasite case he is facing for the death of his wife, Alona Bacolod Ecleo. 
The judge also ordered the Criminal Investigation and Detention Group, based in the Caraga region, to implement the warrant of arrest against Ecleo. Likewise, Judge Peras ordered Ecleo to undergo bypass surgery. It was one of the grounds for the court to grant his request for bail last 2004. Finally, Ruben Ecleo Jr. was found guilty of parricide and sentenced to reclusión perpetua, or at least 30 years imprisonment. Ecleo, who was not present during the verdict's reading, was found guilty of killing his wife, Alona Bacola de Cleo, inside their home in Cebu City in 2002. Aside from a life sentence, the Supreme Master of the PBMA was also ordered to pay the heirs of his wife of 25 million pesos in compensatory damages to represent what Alona would have earned had she been able to finish and practice medicine. Alona, a fourth-year medical student, was strangled by a Cleo inside their home at Sicho Banawa, Barangay Guadalupe, Cebu City. Furthermore, in the same year, Ruben Ecleo Jr. was expelled from the House of Representatives. Then-Speaker Feliciano Belmonte Jr. said he gave the order despite Ecleo's pending petition before the Supreme Court on the Sandigan Bayan's decision, finding the cult leader guilty of three counts of graft and corruption in various projects. Following Ecleo's dismissal from Congress, the PNP implemented a nationwide manhunt for Ruben Ecleo Jr. Makalipas ang sampung taon na hatulang guilty sa kasong parricide si Congressman Ruben Ecleo ng Lone District ng Dinagat, Surigao del Norte. Ang PNP nagsasagawa na ng nationwide manhunt laban kay Ecleo. Pero aminado ang pulisya, mahirap kumuha ng impormasyon tungkol sa kinaroroonan nito. Any effort on the part of the PNP is always anchored doon sa magandang relasyon sa komunidad. In 2017, Ruben Ecleo Jr., who had been on the run for six years, said he was willing to surrender on the condition that his two former lawyers, Orlando Salatandre Jr. and Giovanni Mata, be disbarred and his parasite case be reopened. He claimed that Salatandre and Mata did not do their best to question the identity of the body found at the ravine in Cebu. Retired senior inspector Atiliano Fabella, also a member of Ecleo's PBMA, said in a report that Ecleo sought the Supreme Court to reopen the parasite case against him. However, his request was not granted. On July 30, 2020, the PNP finally captured Ruben Ecleo Jr. at a golf course in Angeles City, Pampanga after having him under surveillance in the past six months. The police operation was safely implemented, which resulted in no casualties. According to reports, Ecleo had a bag with 170,000 pesos worth of cash and assorted weapons. Meanwhile, he told reporters, quote, All the good times should come to an end, unquote. While he was being detained in San Fernando City, Pampanga. Then PNP chief Archie Gamboa later presented Ecleo at Camp Crame in Quezon City. He commended the police for the arrest of Ecleo, whom he described as the Philippines' most wanted fugitive. He also said, quote, The arrest of Ecleo will send a chilling message to all other fugitives. You can run, but you cannot hide." Unquote. The verdict capped nine years of a parasite trial against Ecleo. NCRPO Chief, Police Major General, De Bold Sinas said Ecleo was arrested by regional intelligence personnel near the Beverly Place Golf and Country Club in Angeles City. It took them six months to track down Ecleo under an operation named Coplan Almighty. He said 
They received information from an agent based in the Dinagat Islands six years ago that Ecleo had moved to Metro Manila to hide. They later received credible information that he was in Angeles City. Gamboa said at least four or five officers would be promoted for Ecleo's arrest. He did not say who would receive the 2 million peso reward for the capture, which was offered in 2012 by then President Benigno Aquino III. Tightly closed talaga yung information. We really expected for a shootout. No? So that's why we prepared. We coordinated properly. That's why malaman nyo, ang, ang project was, ano, was launched. At the NCRPO, Ruben Ecleo Jr. cheerfully answered reporters' questions on how he managed to hide for so long. He laughingly said, I don't know. He also admitted that he sometimes used disguises, while his followers also helped him by donating the van he was using. He also added, quote, I know that life is tough when you get imprisoned. Many times, I think about surrendering because I fear for my family's safety. But here I am, so their suffering should end. I want to see my family, visiting me behind bars peacefully." Unquote. As for the Bacolod family's legal counsel, who spoke on behalf of the four other private prosecutors in the murder case, said that, quote, Putting a Cleo behind bars was a perfect end, in hopes of making the former lawmaker pay for his crimes. We are delighted. At least our efforts didn't go down the drain. I'm sure the Bacolod family is pleased. Unquote. Angelito Bacolod, one of the three remaining siblings of Acleo's murdered wife, said that, quote, While they are happy that Acleo has been convicted, their lives would never be the same again. We are no longer intact. It's different, but we have to start moving on. We have to trust in God. Unquote. Stay tuned for our next episode about the surprising death of a known drug kingpin while being detained at the new Bilibid prison. For further updates, please follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at PH Murder Stories. And subscribe to our YouTube channel, PH Murder Stories. This podcast is brought to you by Review Visuals. Do you like our podcast? Support us on www.buymeacoffee.com slash phmurderstories through a one-time donation or by subscribing to our monthly exclusive content. You can find the link in the description. Buy Me A Coffee is the best way for creators and artists to accept support and membership from their fans. This platform is a convenient way for the listeners of this podcast to support us through one-time donations or enjoy exclusive content through our monthly or yearly membership.